My name is Dr. Uh, Jacob Kimathi, the Associate Senior Pastor at Sitam Broburu. Well, this year our theme is the church and as Sitam Ministries is positioned for impact. And I share with us positioned for greatness. In the book of Esther, we read that when Ammon decided to destroy and annihilate the Jews who were living in, in Persia, we read that through the intervention of Mordecai and Esther, God stepped in and he stopped what was going to be a total destruction of his people. And the word of God says, Mordecai sent a word to Esther and told Esther to intervene from her position as the queen. And when Esther uh, hesitated, Mordecai, the uncle, just told her, you have to intervene. You don't know. Maybe you have come to the kingdom of God at, a time, at such a time as this. I want us to know that even now the Lord is in the business of lifting people to positions of influence for his sake and for his purpose. Esther was nobody. She was an orphan. She was a refugee. There was everything owed against her. But the Lord raised her through the only thing that she earned to a credit, that is a beauty. And this is what the tool that the Lord used when the former queen disgraced the king, uh, Queen Vastity, and, and, and forfeited her position. Then it was time to look for someone else. And this is how Esther found herself in the palace and as a queen. But that, there was a bigger picture to this. The Lord was lifting her, not for herself, the Lord was lifting her despite of herself. The Lord was lifting her, not because of what she was or she had, but the Lord was lifting her for an important occasion in her future life. And when Ammon, with his broted ego, threatened to destroy the people of God, it was time for Esther to act from a position of influence. If the Lord is lifting you, then know he is lifting you for, for a purpose. But we see one other um, part of this story. Esther was a woman of character. And a character did not betray throughout her life. She was simple. She was humble. Uh, she was a noble character. She obeyed the father-in-law, I mean the, the, the uncle, before she was married to the king and even after. And what will keep you in that position where the Lord is lifting you to, it is first your character. You have to have enough moral capital to sustain you in a position of elevation. And secondly, when the Lord lifts you, it is not for yourself. It is not for your benefit, it is for the sake of serving God and serving the people of God. Believers, I expect and I am believing that God is lifting and raising his children to positions of influence, to positions of honor, to positions of power. When this happens, let your character keep you. And remember, you are in that position to serve God and to serve his people. The Lord bless you. Amen.